Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how to publish your Google Slides. Let's go ahead and take a look at how to do this. Now, I should point out this is the third part in a series I'm doing about getting started with Google Slides. If you haven't seen those previous videos, I have them linked up in the description down below. So to publish your slides, there's a few different options and a few different settings that you should know about those options. First of all, let's go to the file menu. And in the file menu, we have the option to share. And under sharing, we can share with others or we can publish to the web. If we choose publish to the web, anyone who has the link to our slide presentation will be able to view it. So I'll publish that and we'll see that are you sure you want to publish this? Yep, I do. Now, anybody who has this link can view my slides, even if they don't have a Google account. Now, I should point out that you can unpublish them later if you want to. And you can do that by simply going to the Publish Content and Settings and select Stop Publishing. And you can see here, I also have the option to restrict it to people who are only within my domain. And I should point out that if you are working in a Google Workspace for Education domain, there's a good chance that your domain administrator has already turned that option on for you. I'm gonna leave this one published for now. So if you're watching this YouTube video and you wanna copy down that entire URL right now and watch the, my slides, you could. I also have an embed code and I can grab the embed code and I can copy that and paste it into a web page just like I would do if I was embedding a YouTube video into a web page. So those slides are now public for anybody on the web. But let's say I don't want to make them public. I'll go back to the file menu, go to share, under publish to the web, I'm going to stop publishing. And now that link no longer works for viewing these slides. But I wanna publish it so that some people can see it. So I'm going to use share with others. And I can now add people via email address to view the slides. Like I might, view, I might invite Mason to view the slides, not as an editor, but just as a viewer. And I'm going to say that he can only view them, well, until July 20th. Or I could pick a different date by editing that, say July 27th. And then send that out so that he can view that. And when I do so, it's going to say, hey, you have some audio and video in here that you also need to share. And so I'm going to say, yes, share, so that he can experience the audio and video that I've added to these slides. Now, another option is I can go to the file menu and I can download my entire slideshow as a PowerPoint presentation. So maybe I wanna have it as a PowerPoint presentation to play from my desktop, I can do that. And then I can then I can email that file to somebody and share it that way. You can see here, I can also download my slides as a PDF. I can also download my slides as images. Now, before we wrap up this video, I want to point out that the next video in this series is going to be about collaborating on the creation and design of a set of Google Slides. So once more, we'll go to the file menu, and we'll share, and we'll share with others. And I'm going to invite Max now, and he's going to be an editor on my slides. And Max is going to need access to those files so let's go ahead and share those files with Max as an editor because I want him to be able to edit 
the entire presentation with me. And again, in the next video in this series, we'll look at how to use those collaboration tools that are available in Google Slides. As always, for more things like this, please visit freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.